Hey there, everybody. Fett here, and welcome back to Fett Plays Squeaky Voice, apparently. RimWorld 1.0. Don't mind me. I'm just walking over to the sack. Having a good time with my uh, plain leather duster t-shirt and lizard skin pants. I'm just gonna jump on these. Have a little bit of fun. Don't worry about it. Just regular old good time happening over here. And what you might you think that mean you might? It might mean that we gonna get some uh, lock. It was a lockjaw attack. Well, that took out seven of them. Manhunter pack. Oh, manhunt your face! All right. Well, dirt. Hey, the bots are relaxing socially. Talking about eating habits and life's annoyances. I can't wait to see the comment that comes from this one, Dirk. I know it's coming. Though it is a master of comments. All right. 0.6 days before fight time. How we doing on the uh, let's not die of the flu front? 81 versus 51. We're doing good. I know there's someone else I can check too, but I assume Layla's doing at least as well. She's actually doing better, so don't even start getting it twisted, all right? As soon as he comes around this corner, he's going to get a pop pop. All right. I'm just waiting for it. Good job finding the uh, cloth there, Frost. Okay, there's our doomsdays. And there goes our LMGs. Perfect. Got storage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you see the way it straddled the rock? I don't even know how it did that. It just did. Don't know. Oh, no. They're colliding with each other and causing way too much damage. Oh. Oh, my Lord. That was almost way too much damage. That would be called a crash by Swift. You need like, I don't know, flex code to fix that or something. I don't know. Look, I'm not, I'm not a trendy meme man, okay? Leave me alone. It's almost about to get zipped. He got zipped. They're all still mad. And they all think they can take on this obelisk. Ooh, you guys are about to get a awakening let's go ahead and throw down a conduit over here for these dirk man he is in a he's in a very relaxed mood he's just hanging hanging and dangling not that i can blame him too much we got cargo pods over here in microton you got a single one what you got for me give it to me neil the hell sea cucumber all right well i regret saying give it to me now only a little bit all right what else would i be looking for here Are you did you guys explode again i think you exploded again now that i'm complaining oh my gosh that's a lot of free leather i just want to see if there were any like Additional droppings of rocks anywhere else. Not yet. We got one right here. No, don't move the lamp. Move the granite chunk. Thank you. All right. Looks like this problem is solved. Thanks for the free meat. Cassie Classic. I appreciate the support. You know, it might not all get butchered in time. Here he goes. It's time to watch the master at work, dude. Like, yo, <laughs> he's a little ridiculous, but hey, he gets results, you know, dude has slapped us up with an extra 2000 steel already. All right, knocking out those sabot rounds too. Well, that's done. Time to move this over a little bit. We're just going to put it right here for now. Allow it to be moved. Threat detected. Ooh! Tax has detected a possible threat. Tony's outlaws will attack 
via land in approximately 5.6 days. Apparently, they're going to come from this specific spot here. That's cool, and I love it. Okay, I want... Okay, I want that upgrade everywhere now. Yo. What the hell is it? Adam, build me an Adam. All right. According to that Bethesda, if I build like a, you know, 599 of them or something, I can buy myself a pair of pants. Anyway, how you doing? Told a funny story to about health to Kind Tree. Did you hear about health? Bet you don't have much in here. Haha, <laughs> it's funny because you have the flu. I am I am a robot, okay, and I'm not feeling. But you laughed, you got a, you got an up. Apparently, Trillium also likes your accent. Thank you, it's um Fearful Clubian. Look, I don't know. I don't know what you call it, okay? Well, it doesn't look that much more organized yet. But we're getting there. Do I see... Is this thing seriously full of LMGs already? No. I can store one more. Okay. Well, I was... I only asked because there was another LMG over here. Are the APB ones all full? Yeah, they are. Holy jeez. I mean, I knew we had a lot of them, but even... Wait, do they deteriorate in here? They do. Well, I don't like that. I thought the weapons racks kept them from deteriorating. Hmm. Well, lesson learned. Uh, I gotta move those indoors now. Hmm. That's too bad, because I really like that positioning for them. All right. That's all right. We can move things again. Uh, could move them over here and down this corner. And we're not really using that corner for anything else. So it might not be the worst corner to put it in. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Just for now. Until we figure out something better. Which may or may not ever happen. Because I am creatively bankrupt. Don't tell YouTube. Actually, they already know. That's why they don't recommend my videos. Anyway, moving on. Keep this gravy train rolling. This gravy train of... No, oh, don't rename it. That's a lot of work I don't want to have to put the effort into. Another reason why YouTube won't recommend my videos. Dude, I'm way into the meta commentary on this one, aren't I? All right, we also have to move. Man, we got to move so much stuff. Look at all this stuff getting moved. But again, that's okay. You know, you know, having a wall full of weapons is just kind of a thing that should happen in Fort Django anyway. This is just appropriate. And look, we had literally enough space until we hit this thing here. And we can just move this. This doesn't need to be here. It can be over here. And once we move that down, we can move these bad boys over here, and we could even make more of these. In fact, what I'm thinking I might do is actually move these again down here and put the heavy ones up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, I have done it. I have achieved peak... something. <laughs> I don't want to finish that sentence. I do kind of want to put in a another source of lighting somewhere, though. I almost have to put in like a single space of like a regular wall light somewhere that's not connected to anything. But obviously, if I put it anywhere, it becomes connected. Hmm. What I'm saying is, I want some sort of lighting over here. But I don't want it to be regular lighting. I don't like the modern lamps, man. They look okay. But I don't want okay. I want weird. Red. Actually, no. We're going to move it down a little bit. Alright. 
This is our little, uh, let's, I don't know what you would call it, like a red light district? Don't read too much into that. Anyway, getting these moved again into a new spot. It's fine. I mean, most of these, these primitive weapons don't even need to be in the first place. I mean, Dirk, how are you enjoying your new helmet? What's that? You don't, you have one less negative thought now and your mood is perfect? You don't say. We got visitors over here. The Orion. Apparently, uh, Shadow had Pink Pinky and Shadow both have family coming in. I mean, you're in the wrong place, but your heart's in the right place. So I guess that's what's important. We're going to go claim a bed, and then we're going to get mad because they had to pay uh, 150 silver. So uh, have fun with that. All right, we're getting these moved. Don't worry, they're going in. It's working out. I mean, we have 14 EMRGs. Good Lord, I did not realize. And yeah, we're going to put more of these all the way down here, I think. More weapon space. And then these things will no longer hold. Actually, these can't hold weapons, can they? No, I don't think they can anyway. Items. No, they can't. So yeah, it's good that we're getting a space for these weapons. And yes, that is obvious. Thank you for realizing. I have these all facing the wrong way. Don't mind me. I'm just the dumbest man coming through. Dumbest man with the smartest plan. You put those together, what do you get? A big mistake. <laughs> hey, there you go. Turn that around. There we go. We need them all facing, you know, they gotta be up against the wall, not up, not against the wall. There we go. These were all backwards too, but who even cares in this day and age? There, see, that's facing the right way. I kind of liked how all of the racks were like you know the walls were all together on the other side but you know what this is more consistently correct anyway so who even cares in this day and age deep drill resources exhausted automatically forbidden on forbid to get some limestone chunk of don't you love the limestone chunk Okay. More steel. More real feel steel. That is the real deal. Oh, it was this one. I thought it was a different one. I don't know why I would have thought that, but I did. Uh, yeah, you can reach over here. Go ahead and do it. All right. Now we've done that correctly. Now we got to move these, and at least these face the right direction by default. In theory. Okay. And then they're going to have to spend all of their time moving the actual weapons over. But you know, that's why we have 3 million hauler bots. Well, that and because I hate to admit my mistakes. Alright. Beautiful. Be actual beauty now. As you can see. We got lighting up to... Yeah, we still got some dark zone up in here. I'm not here to create a dark zone. The only zone I'm here for is the chalk zone. So let's do something about it. I could put like a candle hopper up here. That's a little dumb. I could put a Tesla on one of these. Actually, you know, if it would actually fit okay, I would totally consider putting a couple of... You know what? Screw it. Screw everything. We're going to put a nice Tesla lamp somewhere. Wait, you put it on the corner? Wait, I could have done this the whole time. Oh, I swear if that lights up the room. I'm going to be so mad at myself. Anyway, I like this. I like the whole red light approach here. I'm actually going to do more of that. 
red lights on the inside of all the entrances so that you know if you're going over here you're gonna get some butt kicking all right and we can move this if we're gonna do that so we'll move this we'll uninstall this and then we'll move a few red lights over there we'll keep this red light this one's fine or floodlight you know what i'm trying to say leave me alone Okay, there we go. Wait, did you install it? No, it didn't actually get installed, did it? Oh, I put them up here. I am the dumbest man. Okay, I should stop that. It's starting to get less funny and more sad. Dude, if you can only hold three, why are there four doors? Don't worry, I know the answer to that. Three go in the stack and then one goes in the other spot. I've seen it happen. That's how I know that just goes to show you that I do know a thing or two about life. I know a thing or three about living. And I know we're going to have a good time. Anyway, we're getting things moved. Dark giving me some of that hot, hot construction action. Alright. Yeah. Getting these weapons in here again. Beautiful. It'll take time, but it's worth it. I think. I mean, the fact that we have so many of these still out here kind of... You can put them on the wall! Oh, gosh! That's so good! I genuinely like that. Like, I kind of want to say I like that enough that I want to take down all the flood lamps and put these Tesla lamps instead. But the modern lamps take up so... Oh man, the modern lamps are stupidly efficient on power. Well, I guess I should have realized that. The floodlights are not. But whatever. In fact, we got floodlights in almost every room. What if I just replace those with the corner lights now? Like, what if I took this out of here? I will probably end up putting it back. But what if I took it out of there? Will this light actually shine in this room? Yo, Ironheart and Koshi are getting married. We got to hang around for this. I mean, cool things happen in Fort Django. But when was the last time we had a marriage in RimWorld? Get over here, you lucky bastard. With your freaking lung and kidney transplants. And your slight amount of alcohol and Ironheart's troll blood. Yo. Very nice. And look at all the sheepies. All the sheep are coming together to celebrate as well. This one thinks it's a robot. That's adorable. Let's say 50 days? Yeah. All right. Nice little party. We haven't had one of those in a while. And we even have some guests from the Grand Alliance over here. Just hanging about, having a good time. Um, one of them is talking about the link between sexual morality and cannibalism with George. All right, then. That's, that's a good topic. Yashio. Yeah. Oh, that's... That's a good one. George, what did you think? Where is George? I can't even see him in here. And there he is. Oh, with an android. Well, then, of course. It was probably just a learning experience for him. Anyway, let me know when the ceremony starts. I'll come back. For now, I need to go back over here and... Watch my disaster that I'm still trying to clean up. The only one of you needs to be storing miniguns. The other one has to store LMs. LMs of the G. Hey, yo, don't do that. There you go. Okay, so we took that out. Uh, yeah, this room is all lit from this. I assume. Bam. <laughs> okay, well, neat. I now regret putting in so many floodlights when we definitely didn't need so many floodlights. Not that we need to save power, but, you know. Hey, we got some new animals. 
recently. I can tell because the clone vats are empty. Very neat. Very neat. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't know that before, but I didn't. And now I do, and that gives me a happy. Uh, you know what? Nice job on the good fox fur cowboy hat, by the way. I don't know who made it. Good quality. Well done. I appreciate the support. Deep drill sources exhausted. Thank you. Well done. I appreciate the support. Let's go ahead and put down a haul urgently order for all this crap. Get all that crap moved, please. If you'll do me a favor. And move all this crap. One of these has to be a spot for doomsday rocket launchers. Okay. That's all done. Uh, what was the deep... There we go. Deep drill that got exhausted was what I was going to say. Yo, how is this not... Oh, because we exploded a line. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Don't get it twisted, you stinky... I don't know why I'm in a singing mood. I apologize. Profusely and sincerely, because I know you don't need this in your life. Alright. Repair the conduit. Uh, let's see. Where's the one that's up here? By the way, Dad Ronic is inspired. I appreciate the support. Let's go ahead and get that one going to get some gold. And then we'll get this one going to get some whatever you got. And then we'll throw a line over here to grab whatever that is. What is this? Oh, please. I don't care about the conduit steel, of course. 5.3 days and Tony's outlaws will attack. That is cool. Oh, I, 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 I'm free to move about with the country, by the way. Whoops. Wait, does this place even need an atom? Hey, make atom. Make me that, please. Oh, the marriage ceremony's begun. You gotta get over here. You gotta be in on this, dudes. This is a once in a lifetime occasion. Unless they break up and get married again. But I don't think that has ever happened in an actual Rim World game that I've played. If it has, feel free to point it out. You nerd. Alright, Sausage will be um, officiating the ceremony, I assume. Hmm. Also, Arrow Fleet, too. Nifty. Shiitake, get out of the way. The bride and groom are saying their vows, presumably. Annabelle, please. These freaking woolly flammels, man. Like how George is here, just kind of looking on, probably wondering who he can eat. Thank you. Okay, thank you for taking a picture. That's actually a great picture to have. So, thank you, Auto Renderer, for this lovely picture of a marriage here in Microton on the 15th, the last day of December. 5507, you picked a great day. Clear skies, cool weather, cold, I mean, 43 Fahrenheit, 6 Celsius, you know. Um, quips about howitzers, I think everyone's having a good time. Dude, don't talk about fighting burglars and taming muffalo. There's a marriage going on right in front of you. You shut up, cow. This moment's ruined. <laughs> George, talk about short people. Help! Try to have a nice, solemn moment. Is that a pink woolly flommel? It is a cotton candy flommel. I'm sorry, candy cotton. You know. Don't get it twisted. That's what I was thinking. Didn't feel like saying it. Because I thought people would get mad at me. But honestly, if you're still... If you're watching at this point... You're probably wondering why I don't still say it all the time. And you gotta still say it sometimes. It's it's a thing you do. You choose. Do you get it twisted or do you don't? You know, one thing that's definitely good here is that we still have that high psychic drone. But now that Koshi and Ironheart are married, everyone's feeling good. And we made an atom. And we're gonna have more devil sheep use. This is a perfect day. 
even with gaping pelvis wounds. This is the perfect day. Don't even. You cannot ruin it. Hello, Colossal Arrow Fleets. You cannot ruin it. We don't have room for some steel maces. I don't know why. We should have had room for them over here. I guess we just didn't put the maces in here. You know, that's fine. It's fine. Some of this stuff is garbage anyway. Mace, 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 mace. Is it really just this stuff? I mean, this all looks like garbage. So, you know what? I'm going to cancel that order. Yeah, that's just garbage. I don't care if we preserve that or not. Cool. Cool. We've stored a lot of stuff. We've cleaned up our base quite a bit. We've got all the EMRGs in place. That's extremely important. And we could put some more down this the rest of this wall. And I actually think that's not a terrible idea. And we definitely have the steel for it because we keep mining the steel for it. Which one is that? The gold one? Nope, that is not the gold one. We're going to go ahead and actually just move that around a little bit so we can get more steel. Steel reserves definitely jumping back up. Going to have to ship some over to ye old Raggle Muffle City. Don't worry about it. It's pretty great. And now they're like, oh, I can actually put these in places now that this is working. Cool. Excellent, excellent. And we even have an extra Doomsday rocket launcher for you. Just in case you need it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess I should reinstall the ship reactor. Whoops. Put that back, please. Also, where's the atom? Did it not have to be installed in every single one? Does it work for every place even without that? Because I feel like I had to ins I had to make it. And maybe that's just my own insecurities grabbing hold of me and not letting go. You know how that feels, right, folks? I just realized that the, the orbital trade beacons are, like, in the way. So, all that talk about having a good layout and everything... Soiled. Ugh. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Maybe it got installed already, because I'm not seeing it anywhere. Hmm. It is a mystery. And by that, I mean one of you probably sees it and I can't because I'm kind of... Oh, there it is. Never mind. I see it. Um, Dismas, can you install this? Cannot merge it, but I can pick it up. So I guess, yeah, maybe you only have to install it on one of them. And then they all have... No, because this one's the only one that has scramble drop pods. But I want to install one in here. Do I have to rip it up and move it and do it all like that? Let's try that. Let's try moving it around, see if that works. Meritrix is fully healed, by the way. It's pretty great. It's an experiment, okay? And it's a valid one. More steel coming my way. How about... How about we get the gold? It's not much gold, but it's gold. And I want the gold. And I guess next time we'll prioritize taking this stuff down. Give ourselves a little bit more Punisher coverage, you know? Gardener. Bless you, naked butt. Getting that moved for me. And then we just move it right back. No, it doesn't look like it's changed that any. Huh. What if we rebuild it? That would be my next... The next thing I would try. Epic, what's wrong, my dude? Insulted? Ate without table. I know that feeling. And honestly, I think you overreact to it. But whatever. You ate without table. Boo-hoo-hoo. We all say it. But you know what? We can be happy because Dirk's got gold. 
with the easiest 400 and something or other gold we've ever made in our life. Wait for it. What? Come on. Are you seriously going to rip it up before he's done? Dirk, I thought you were faster than this. Oh no, he's moving the gold. Okay, that's fine. Don't keep... Okay. Yeah, I don't want 200 million limestones over here. That's going to be it for this episode. If that plays RimWorld 1.0. Hey, we got a marriage over here. Look, they're still having the marriage party. It's awesome. So that was pretty great. Got some organization. A little bit more over here in... Ye old Fort Django. I think that's looking pretty all right. Got some of the weapons moved out of here. Not all of them, not yet, but we're working on it. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to let me know by giving a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more. That's the word I was looking for. Why? Stop. Go eat some food, please. Also, give it a like if you like the video. Thanks again for watching this episode of That Plays Rim World 1.0. My name is Thad, and I will see you in the next video. Something.